good morning everybody uh, today i'm going to show you how to create user account for git online exam uh, now everybody knows in sri lanka uh, we are having general information technology for gce a levels uh, so when you are doing advanced levels you have two uh, general subjects that is uh, general english and uh, general information technology uh, the general information technology has been started from 2005 uh, they had exams from 2005 and uh, earlier it was only in English medium then uh, in 2008 it was uh, um, given uh, in uh, both languages uh, and single medium and uh, English medium and in 2019 they have uh, changed the, uh, the way of uh, keeping the exam from a paper based one to uh, online uh, evaluation system so here uh, uh, we can easily evolve uh, your computer skills also so uh, today we'll get a, a user account to uh, do the exam online okay so uh, now if you have taken a user account uh, before 2020 April uh, then from 2020 April the system has been changed uh, actually it was not available for a, a sort of period uh, uh, after doing uh, after the 2019 students has done, have done the exam it was not available and when they have uh, given the access to the uh, online prototype exam the mock exam uh, you have to take a new user account even though you have created the user account earlier you have to create a new user account now so uh, if you know you can just type uh, the duonets.lk uh, website here or else i am going to search uh, for a, uh, for the department of examination now you can see it's there so i just selected it so i can go to this place you can see the duonets.lk uh, the web address is also there url so here once we go to the examination department you can see so many um, so many options are there so uh, in another video i'll explain uh, all the things uh, which you can see here but today we are going to jit online exam so once you go to that place you can see uh, on left hand side the login uh, window but still we can't go for that and on right hand corner right hand side you can see welcome to online examination uh, system and all the stuff there and some instructions also given you can click and uh, view the instruction before uh, creating a new account but i am directly go for the account creation now once you go inside you can see um, a form you have to fill when you are creating accounts you have to fill forms right so uh, normally um, like in other forms the this red asterisk or the red star means you have to fill this these are mandatory or compulsory you have to fill these fields and uh, these fields are not compulsory if you want you can fill but other than that you don't have to fill um, it's not a must right so here they have given some instruction uh, only uh, use only one word uh, no spaces allowed so you can't keep spaces in between so if you type a name a username here which is already in the system it will be um, rejected like uh, think i uh, entered my first name here and i filled up all the fields and i went to create my new account then it will show here on top of this uh, um, page that uh, that username is not available it's already exist so uh, select another username something like that so to avoid uh, typing again and again you first think a good username and type it here so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, type uh, c uh, p underscore uh, yes without uh, putting underscore uh, we'll see uh, i'm going to put underscore then with anagi v i t h a n a g e i don't know whether this uh, this might be available so what i'm going to do i'm going to put another uh, letter here in front v v c p underscore with so i'm not sure actually earlier whether i have taken this to show uh, how to create a, 
uh, Google, uh, sorry, this GIT account. So that's why I put VCP underscore Vitan again. So uh, when it comes uh, to something like that with underscore and uh, your initials and the things, most of the time it will be available, right? Or oh, other than that, you can uh, do something like uh, when I put CP with Anagi, I can put one, two, three, or something like that, like the example given here. You can do something like that. So, when uh, then we go to the next thing, the password. Here, you have to type a strong password. Normally, when we are um, using uh, better to type a strong password, okay. So, it should be contain uh, the capital letters, simple letters, and the uh, numbers and uh, a symbol okay so uh, you can uh, you have to remember uh, and you have to be aware whether you are typing the exact thing you are thinking so I am typing it here you can see you can't see what you are typing so that's why you have to be very careful with the keyboard uh, you have to check whether the caps locks are on or if you are pressing shift and, and entering keys you have to be um, confirm that the shift has been pressed so likewise okay because he has no uh, uh, checking process here uh, once you typed it's there and there's no checking process whether you have typed this exactly same thing which you thought or not okay so we'll go to the next place we have to type your uh, our first name and then we can go to the next name uh, the last name i can type now my last name there then uh, you can go to the next one it's it will be your national identity card number so here the national identity card number if you are uh, using a new one it should be a uh, uh, 12 letter thing uh, or if you are using uh, older uh, one uh, it will be uh, nine letters uh, sorry not here 12 numbers if it is a old one it should be nine numbers and one letter v or x right then the school address uh, and the email address phone number i recommend even though these things are not compulsory better to put a working email address and a phone number because if something happens with the login uh, if you are not uh, remember what you have typed as the password then you can recover your account by using this email address the phone number but here I am going to create my new account. I am not going to type anything. Now you can see um, it has been created. Okay. Now you have seen it has been created. So that's all for today. Uh, for next uh, time we will see how we are going to log into the system. And how we uh, do the uh, exam. The um, structure of the exam. And the way you are navigating inside it. And all those stuff. We will... Uh, watch it on the next video okay have a nice day